We announced last week a generous support package for producers, which, by the way, has the support of the Premier of Saskatchewan, of the Canola Council of Canada, of producers, of trade ministers across the West, and we continue to look for other markets for canola. We have taken no possibility, no other action off the table, Mr. Speaker. Action speaks louder than words, and alone is a Band-Aid, not a solution. The Prime Minister's slow and inadequate response is costing our canola producers greatly. Our farmers are no longer are no closer to regaining market access than they were two months ago. To date, there is still no Canadian ambassador appointed to China, and no formal trade compl complaint has been launched. Instead of continuing to shell out Canadian taxpayer money to the China-controlled Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, will the Prime Minister finally stand up to China and fight for farmers? We are very engaged in working as a team to solve this issue with China because we stand by our farmers, our canola producers and our exporters. Mr. Speaker, this is a very important issue and we shouldn't confuse supporting our farmers and our robust inspection system with supporting the poorest and the most vulnerable of this world. Thank you.